they start to run. It's fishing simulator. Yet again. And some relaxing Animal Crossing music. I'm not playing. Slowly becoming an Animal Crossing character. Also, it's weird. Wow. Hello, Pa. Goodness. Goodness. That ain't great. Why does Discord do this to me? What does that say? Disconnected from Discord. Okay. Ta -ta. Tim is live and I have to get home from work. Have a safe journey home for a coffee. What just happened to Discord? No idea. It's... That's not right. Why does this do this to me? Here's the game. Game is paused. Now what's up with Discord? Why does it cause me pain? Not the Foffy. Of course, always the Foffy. Chat's not working either. Why is this daily? Okay. Talks. Chat. Chat is an important part to see. In case you didn't know. There we go. Always oh, not. Okay. Not Discord's just not working. I do not know. So I will not worry. Isn't that amazing? Don't know, won't worry. It's working on my phone though, so I'm curious. Fascinating. Still says disconnected on Discord though. Okay, we will not worry about it. We know it said that before, so nothing changed. Ah, I'm a dummy. What am I doing now? Putting this on. There we go. My backup plan works every time. Tomorrow is partially cloudy. Thank you so much, game. Let's leave here. What's in here? It's been so long since I heard from you, dear. Things are they're the same as ever back home. I miss you very much. I love mom. P.S. Found an envelope with some money. Grandpa left for you. Now I have 500. 500 things. Hopefully these haven't been grown the entire time. Divine. Stop running. That might have been grown the entire time. We worry about it not. I feel like I'm forgetting so much stuff. So much to be forgotten.
dun, dun, dun. There we go. I do not know what I am doing. Which describes light, my life in general. Uh, yeah. I don't have this thing. I don't know when the mines come, I always. I would like to find those crates that they promised me. It's promised crates. We're farming. We're farming. Or fishing, because this is fishing simulator, of course. But we're going to be fishing. Pretty much exclusively. Because I chose the beach farm. Which means I'm legally required to fish. To clean all this stuff up. So much stuff to clean up, it's ridiculous. Alright, have fun, Tontium. I'll be safe because you told me to. That's not right. Also, hi, Inky. Hope your day's going well. But you should be safe. Because being safe is better for you, not because I told you to. seen one in forever and I was promised the crate. Also not sure how well fishing works here because the water seems shallow. I don't know if the shallowness of the water actually means anything. And fishing. I was thinking about bait I think. Eh, not really. Go. I don't know if you were here for this inky, but the dog is named Divine. I've checked all that. I guess the 9 a.m. 9 a.m. I need to buy stuff to plant in the ground, because this is a farming game, technically. Technically. just get a fishing game. And I'm not... This is Wednesday. <laughs> Wait, whoops. That was dumb of me. What did you say? It's 12 p.m. already? My goodness. No, no, it's 9. 9 a.m. music is playing. I'm trying to come up with a new song for my band, but I'm blanking. Hey, what do you think my new song should be about? Trains. Hey, you know what? That sounds perfect. Thanks. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? But I asked you to throw the ball around, but you don't really seem like the sports type. I want to play catch with you. Really? I guess I underestimated you. Arms a little sore, but maybe next time. You literally just said you wanted to play catch, dude. Why do you do this to me? Times have been tough lately. I get laid off from my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could drive you to Calico Desert. Calico Desert. Why would I want to go to the desert? It's hot and dry and filled with sand or something. Oh, wait. It's Wednesday. Wait, is it Wednesday? What day is it? In, like, actual reality. Doobie Wednesday. Which I'm sure has some significance. Hmm. Hmm. 
For some reason, I want to play Animal Crossing again. I wonder why. We're here for bait, Willy. Please be there. I need the bait. Don't abandon me like the others have. I know where I'm gonna fish. Probably the river. So I'll run home and toss all this stuff in the bin to start fishing. Let's do that right now. Now we'll go fishing. Gotta catch them fish. isn't working, what the fuck? Why does it hate me? and add a new one. Why'd you do this to me, chat box? It's just having a time today. It, it will be having a time. Discord also will be having a time, apparently. But you said something and it still didn't work. Okay. Wait, now it's working, maybe? What? What, it's working in the website? Did not click save? Add it. Chatting. Chat. Delete this. It's gone now. Is it back now? Turn to me, chat box. It's there. There we go. Look at that. It's amazing. We figured it out. Not sure why it wasn't working, but hey, we got there. We got there, and that's what matters. All the salmon berries, which is the best salmon season. It's the best season because of all the. It's free food. Wait, will Discord decide to work too? Hold on. Let's close it and reopen it. Duh, 
ta 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 This is dumb, I can't see chat now. Discord's working again. Amazing. Oh god, no. Why? Discord works, but this doesn't. Maybe. Dun 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 Okay. It's working, let's go. I'm professional. Know what I'm doing. Dun 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 A sunfish. Is that a fish I needed? I should probably try completing some of the games I started. But it's not too important. Don't know. In fact, on my Switch games, depending on that. Later. Hmm. chickens but I get the cows because I have money some money almost some money wait mine he would just be up here it's a me wait no it's Robin whoops I'm a dumbass Oh wait, I think she's not home by now. Oh well, we'll check in the morning. I'm sure the wiggling helps me, and not just something I do for my enemies. Makes you move faster or something.
I also think I might have gotten enough sleep last night to fix my sleeping schedule. It's amazing. We'll see. Speaking about it, probably jinxed it. Dress spinner. A dressed spinner. A dress spinner. To injure dresses. I should just get a 100% real Game Boy. Play the first Animal Crossing game. It's a terrible idea because it's a daily thing, but it's a great idea, really. For some reason, a Game Boy, a uh, totally 100% real Game Boy, it seems like it'd be a pain to set up. Well, let's go to bed now. Pretend like it's... Let me sell my stuff before I die. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow, but I want rain because I'm lazy.
probably just plant parsnips because we're not selling like any of this. I need five. This. No. This. Need five. Well, let's buy. That's not what I meant to do. Let's buy fertilizer. And 20 parsnips. Hoping that will be enough to get me golden ones. Golden parsnips. Maybe 25 is a safer bet. And I guess I should go check on the chicken thing because I wanted to get chicken. I don't know what I don't know where I would put the chickens though. Spoken Pierre, they do speak to him every day. Welcome to Pierre, how can I help you? <laughs> Come and get her, folks. Coupons for videos off your purchase at Georgia Mart. Well, any takers? How could they screw Pierre over like this? But I can't match those prices, I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Even the whole town will realize that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I can't work faster than counting. Whatever. Give me the basic fertilizer. Let's go. Basic fertilizer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not me messing this up. Oh no, I can still do it. Okay, we're good. We're good. I mean, again. 
आ गई और एटी ऑफ्ट नाउ शुड फाइंड अ प्लेस फॉर द चिकन्स दैट आई Need to get grass. I guess grass goes on the beach, though, which is kind of weird. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not a beach expert. I know. I want to put it like here, I guess. You can't really do anything with the grass area. Of course, there's a bush there. Okay. I think we all have enough room somewhere around here if I clear all this stuff out. Also, apparently, it takes a long time to get the mine, or I just haven't. I forgot that you might even need to go to it or something. I don't know. Also, just look it up, which I shall do. When do you unlock the mine in Stardew Valley? The mines open up on day five. Okay. Okay, that's a that's a that was a while ago. Okay, so maybe I could go to the mines this entire time, and I forget how this game works. A bunch. Eat a bunch of salmon berries. It tastes like salmon. And last tree. And we'll see if it fits here. Well, maybe this one too. Just need to get the chickens. In fact, I'm just gonna look up chicken coops. Chicken coop, Stardew Valley. So I need four thousand three hundred wood, one hundred stone, three thousand four hundred wood. One hundred uh, stone. Bit of, bit of money, stone, wood. Please, Robin, be there. I need you, Robin. I also take my time getting there. <laughs> oh, no, turning back. It's there. It's just abandoned. Goodbye. Robin, please. Please be enough space, Robin. Please don't shout at me, Robin. There we go. Thank you, Robin. Appreciate it, Robin. Now we can get a bunch more divine chickens. By a bunch more, I mean the first few. Now, I really question, can I go in the mine? Have I been dumb this entire time? Did 
This is a great gift. Thank you. Love you, Linus. Da 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 da. Hmm. I was just peering down at his old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. A dark place and disturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. You received a rusty sword. Name is Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep an eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Just bring all my tools into the mine. You devil. Also, incredibly low on energy. And late into the day. I have... Brain capacity. This game. Click, 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 click. Gotta fill up that energy bar. Gotta eat your lunch. And by lunch, I mean breakfast because it's 9 a.m. Well, I guess it's lunchtime in the game, maybe. can't break, which is weird, because it's the same rock. Let me some of your level 10. No, leave me alone. Let me free. Oh wait, it's every five levels apparently. Let's get the ore in here and then skedaddle. There's no ore. But I guess we'll be mining. It's a mining simulator now. Let me free. Let me out of here. We'll fish a bit and then we'll. Never mind, we're truthful. We'll shove everything into a chest then, and then fish on the farm because it's a beach farm and where else would I do on the beach? Beaches? Let's also look for crates. Wait. No crates. No crates. No crates, okay. Okay. Bemberry in the water. Okay. 
Any fish here? Not really. Right here, I can fish. <laughs> Herring. I don't know. It's probably counts as the ocean, I want to say. Because it's a beach, and I'm not stupid. What are you? A halibut. Energy. We'll just go to bed instead of. Oh no, we'll eat salmon berries. What just happened? What did I do? Oh no. I'm breaking the game. Uh -huh. I don't want to waste all my energy because it's going to disappear in the morning. All my food. Not the double broken. Whoops. Whatever, it's fine. Don't catch fish. Seaweed. Seaweed is edible though, so that's still a win. And a soggy newspaper. Who you read newspapers anymore? Well, I guess that's why they're soggy and in the ocean. What did I get? Random stuff. What did I do? I don't know. It's 11 p.m. I should go to bed. Mm -hmm. I got garbage. Garbage belongs in the garbage. In the trash where you belong. And we'll do mining tomorrow, because... Or maybe I should wait till it rains to mine, so I don't have to water the stuff and waste a bunch of energy. No mine. No mine. Is it raining tomorrow? Probably not. I think I checked. Farming level up, fishing level up, we're almost there, but we're almost there. 
Nossa, Max Fish. <laughs> Weather report. It'll be clear and sunny. You've got mail. You've been exploring the mine. You've got the adventure spirit. I'm taking and tell. If you can strike 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in the adventure skill. Be careful, Marlin. Time I have a request for you, and I first call it for a recipe. I want to make, and you bring me one, yeah, sure. The freshest of cauliflowers. I don't actually know if there's anything clean in there, but whatever, I don't care. I feel like here is the place to fish because this is like a dock or something. Could be wrong though because it looks like there's stuff there. Do, 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 think I'm smart and I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go get food after this day. Mm -hmm. I have fish which is thematic paper. I have leftover salmon which is thematic paper. I guess we're fishing you. Catch oysters, I did not know this. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you fish today. Which isn't great, because fish is my income. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I should pay attention. I should pay attention. You should pay attention. Dun dun dun, why does it do this? Let's get rid of this. I'm not actually sure if the trash converter thing is any useful in this game, which is annoying. I just toss that back into the ocean like an idiot. I talk to Hollow Knight after I get the foods. But Hollow Knight's being annoying and makes the bosses invisible, which isn't great because you can't fight them invisible. Well, you can, but it's not easy. Da 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 mm. Okay, whatever. We'll see if they turn invisible. When I launch the game and play the game, also I'm gonna die. Ideally. I would like to get through all the pantheons, even the one I haven't done, because it's really difficult. It's hard to do that when the bosses are invisible. And also, I have to do Great Prince Zoat, because... I'm not on my switch. And I don't want to go around fighting all the bosses normally in a save file. Because I am lazy. I am lazy, man. So much work. Miss one boss that's probably not too difficult if I can just not be stupid. I'm also stupid, so. Just in painful situations all around. Music. It's 
also good. And I don't want to turn off the Animal Crossing music, because this is just my life now. So we'll just play both and deal with it, assuming it works. Inventory is full, so all the garbage gets tossed. Goodbye. But he wants a broken CD. No, broken glasses. Oh, it's a different story. And I just toss it into the ocean like, dude. I guess that makes sense, because it's in the game or whatever. Okay, let's eat. Probably just go to bed after we run out of 
energy if it's not already bedtime. Whoops, that was down with me. Uh, yeah. Bedtime. Edge. Then I go get more breakfast. I have not eaten. I'm just some gray. Theoretically. Gotta eat to not die. Which is kinda sad. I just wish I could not die normally. The dog is inside now. Okay. Okay. Came in with me, that makes sense. My dog does that. Okay. And uh, I forgot to sell the stuff. Whoops. I. I'll swap uh, over to Auto Knight. I guess. That's. A thing, I guess. What a video. So we are entertained. What is this capturing? Question. Question for you. Oh wait, hold on. That gives me a preview of what it's going to show. Amazing. Uh... Oh my god, this is an hour long. Literally, just all of it. What? Number one, Dr. Bright is not allowed to feed anything with peanut butter to Kane. Number two, telling new researchers that you can tame SCP-682 with a rolled up newspaper and a tummy rub is right out. That's literally just the whole three, list, okay. No longer allowed to challenge Abel to unwinnable games like tic-tac-toe. It was three weeks before Abel conceded a draw. Number okay, we're probably not gonna do this one. Watson. Interesting video to play. How it's made is the thing. That's how it's made. Uh, how Kit Kats are made, that's good enough for me. And I click on it. Oh, God damn it, my thing is in the way. Of course it is. Well, I go get food, I guess. You can watch how Kit Kats are made. It's hard. That's no. 
not the real one. Oh, it's made for angles. That's two minutes. No. Dot, 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 dot. What's interesting to see how it's made. Issues. Okay, shoes. Car tires, car tires. Historically, wheels were made of metal or wood. With the invention of air-filled car tires in the early part of the 20th century, the ride was revolutionized. The inflated rubber tires could better absorb the bumps on the road, and the addition of tread gave the invention serious traction. Car tires have come a long way in the last century. Okay, I get it. The modern summer tire is made of 10 to 15 different components, which include natural and synthetic rubber, chemical additives, and carbon black, a pigment. Giant blenders mix these ingredients under heat and tremendous pressure. There are various formulations for different parts of the tire. In each case, the result is gummy rubber dough, which machinery then rolls into sheets to await further kneading and processing. Polyester fabric unrolls into a machine called a calendar. The calendar is equipped with rollers that apply warm rubber to both sides of the fabric. This produces a rubberized fabric that will be used to reinforce the tire. This fabric ply is needed because rubber alone isn't sturdy enough to make a tire. Numerous cotton cords now spin off bobbins simultaneously. Machinery pulls them onto the warm rubberized fabric. They land on a bit of an angle and adhere. This cording creates channels that provide pathways for venting air during the actual tire building. Making rubber for tread requires three different rubber formulations. Extruders shape the three streams of rubber, and then they enter a die that forms them into one. Many paint rollers apply different colored stripes. It's a coating system for identification of the ingredients during processing. To avoid tension, the system creates slack in the feed. A blade slices the tread rubber to length. Next, many steel cables uncoil at once to make the bead, the part of the tire that gives it the strength it needs to stay on the wheel rim. Machinery arranges the cables in the desired configuration and encases them in rubber. More equipment rolls the bead material into hoops, sized to fit the wheel rim. They're now ready to build the tire. Using a special rotating drum, a worker arranges the two bead hoops on it. Next up is an airtight piece of rubber that will act as an inner tube, followed by the corded ply. Inflated bladders roll the rubber around the bead on both sides and then retract. A server applies sidewalls to the beads. Little rollers fold the sidewalls over the beads. This completes the inner part or skeleton of the tire. They assemble the outer layer separately, beginning with strips of rubber embedded with steel cord. The system wraps this rubber around a second tire building drum. Next up are narrow strips of rubber ply. The computerized system winds them with just the right amount of tension for a graduated effect. They're now ready for the last layer, the tread rubber. Machinery applies it to the ply. It's time for the two tire fabrications to become one. A transfer ring collects the assembly and transfers it to the inner part. Compressed air inflates the tire to shape it and all the sticky layers adhere together. The machine rolls the edge of the tread rubber over the side walls. They now have what's known in the industry as a green tire, an uncured tire without tread pattern. Next, it's into a mold to bake and shape the tire. The two parts of the mold come together like a waffle iron. Inside, hot steamy bladders expand to shape the tire and transfer the tread pattern to it. This specific tread pattern is designed for summer tires. 
This cutout of a car tire demonstrates how all the layers have been fused together. The time in the hot pressurized mold has caused the rubber to vulcanize, a chemical reaction that transforms it from a weak and sticky substance to one that's strong and elastic. A worker trims excess rubber. After final inspections confirm the tire shape is uniform and geometrically correct, the tire is ready for shipment. It's time for the rubber to hit the road. In many parts of the world, rice is the main grain. In fact, it is a food staple for nearly half of the planet's population. Native to Asia, it has been grown and consumed for thousands of years. But today, machines do much of the harvesting and processing in order to feed the enormous demand. These perfectly formed kernels of rice are essentially a crop that has been allowed to go to seed. After about 150 days of growth, the rice seed is ready for harvest. Machinery strips it from the stalks and also suctions out some of the empty husks. Trucks transport the rice to storage facilities. They empty it into a grated opening at the receiving pit. The grates filter out some of the larger stalks and debris. From the pit, a chain conveyor moves the rice up to storage silos and into warehouses. Inside the storage facilities, In many parts of the world, rice is the main grain. In fact, it is a food staple for nearly half of the planet's population. Native to Asia, it has been grown and consumed for thousands of years. But today, machines do much of the harvesting and processing in order to feed the enormous demand. These perfectly formed kernels of rice are essentially a crop that has been allowed to go to seed. After about 150 days of growth, the rice seed is ready for harvest. Machinery strips it from the stalks and also suctions out some of the empty husks. Trucks transport the rice to storage facilities. They empty it into a grated opening at the receiving pit. The grates filter out some of the larger stalks and debris. From the pit, a chain conveyor moves the rice up to storage silos and into warehouses. Inside the storage facilities, fans blow air through the mountain of rice to lower the moisture content substantially. With the rice sufficiently dried, it's on to the processing plant. Here, a probe vacuums up samples from both the front and the back of the massive truckload. The probe delivers the samples to a lab. A technician first tests the moisture content to confirm that it's on target. He then transfers batches to a sifting pan to screen for bugs. He switches on a heat lamp to wake them up. He shakes the rice and scrutinizes. He also examines the tray underneath for tiny bugs that may have fallen through the holes. If he finds just one moth or beetle, the entire 5,500-pound truckload of rice will be rejected. Next, the rice falls through perforations in rolling cylinders, screening out the straw which spills over the side. The next machine sifts out the remaining straw bits and any weed seed. 
It also suctions out empty rice husks. They're lightweight and pulled out with a weak vacuum. Finally, they remove mud balls. Free of contaminants, the rice now spills between two rubber rollers, one moving faster than the other. This shears off the husks. The rice and empty husks then cascade into another machine. This is a demo version of the actual production one. Weak suctioning pulls out the husks to separate them from the heavier rice. The dehusking process misses a few kernels. So next, giant sifting machines screen out that rice. Still in husks, it's bigger and doesn't pass through the holes in the shaking trays. They dehusk that rice and mix it with the rest. Grinding machines now mill the rice to remove the bran. The bran spills out of perforations and is recovered for use in cattle feed. With the bran removed, the rice goes from brown to white. The final grinding polishes the rice to give it a pearly sheen. This is the unmilled brown rice, and here it is with the bran removed. During milling, some rice kernels are damaged. This spinning dimpled cylinder now separates the broken kernels from the whole ones. The broken rice kernels fall into the dimples of the cylinder, and from there into an internal catch pan. They'll be used to make cereal or beer. The whole rice now moves through a color sorter. Computerized cameras analyze it for dark imperfections and air nozzles to blast them out of the mix. Of course, there's also a market for unmilled brown rice. Now, ready for packaging, a scraper moves it across a table and into plastic tubes below. Hot jaws seal the tubes at both ends, and this rice is in the bag. Brown or white, short or medium grain, there are plenty of options. last time to Oh. 
for coming. Hope you have a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.